Hello, welcome to November on Wild Ginger Running. I am back. I have stopped having three months of maternity leave and I am back producing content. So thank you for joining me tonight. This is the first live broadcast on a Wednesday night for a while. Um, first, I am going to draw the competition. Um, every um, month we have a patron competition. So if anybody supports me on Patreon, you automatically get entry to the monthly competition and tonight we're going to be drawing October's prize which is £445 worth of cool trail running stuff so looking forward to the, drawing the winners I'll, I'll um, tell you about the prizes for next this month as well November and um, I'll do a few updates as well um, like what races that I've just signed up to I'm back in the game now Finley's sort of sometimes sleeping through the night which I think is a major win so I'll show you some baby pictures, um, I'll say who's getting a buff next this month for being a loyal patron and um, I'll tell you a little bit about what's coming up on the channel over the next few weeks. Um, I'm going to be doing one film a week um, all this year um, so look out for a film every Monday at five o'clock or a live broadcast on uh, Wednesday evening around kind of seven-ish. Um, so I'll just wait for a few more people to join before I do the competition draw. It's really good to see everybody here. So give me a shout out if you want me to read something out. It's really great to see you all again. I'm, I'm really happy to be back in the game doing things every week, uh, being a bit more active on that whole social media as well. Um, Finley, my little bit I'll just show you a couple of baby pictures just whilst everyone comes in so this is me the other day at Rutland Water we went out in the running buggy um, so that was really cool and he looks like that in the buggy he I hope he enjoys it that's my favorite picture of him he looks really happy we also have a running buggy which is saving my life it's really good so I ordered it in bright pink just because I just wanted it to stand out from the crowd, be a little bit gender neutral. I know it clashes with my hair. Um, that's me running with the run, running buggy. Um, it's really cool. It's got really big wheels. It's called the Cybex AV, if anybody wants to know. I'll be doing some more reviews of these in January for Trail Running Magazine and on this channel. Um, I'm doing it with Julia from Tracks and Trails, who we organise our trail running camp together. So if anybody wants um, some more info on running buggies, we'll be doing a review in January. Um, and this is Finley being happy in the running buggy and this is what I get up to. We go somewhere cool and we do something fun like this one here where we're just going for a little paddle, a little wild, wild swim. So yeah, he's going to be a very adventurous baby. Cool. Okay. Oh, there's loads of people here. That's brilliant. Okay. So it's great to see everybody. I'm just going to add some people to the broadcast. So Brad says hi all the way from Canada. Oh, that's got quite... Big fan, there we go, he says hi everyone. Hello Brad, how you doing? It's great to see you. Um, lovely to be back on a Wednesday. I'm just trying to make this fit, there we go. Um, and Conleth Berry, hello Conleth, how are you? Lovely to see you on the live broadcast. Oh, it's Nadia, hello Nadia. It's Hannah, hello Hannah. Maeve's here, hello. How are your lovely girls, Maeve? Um, Arlene, hey Arlene from the other side of the pond as well. And Brad says, glad you're back. Yes, I'm back, I'm really glad. Um, it was really hard to not work. <laughs> I really like, um, yeah, a bit sad, but I really like working. Um, so, without further ado, let's draw some prizes, shall we? We'll do this quickly, and then I'll tell you um, what races I've got coming up. I'm, I've, I've booked one, um, which ties in with a film that I've got coming out soon, and I, I'm going to do another one as well, um, which last year, um, patron Mehul was at, and he took an amazing picture. I'll see if I can dig that out for you as well, because it's one we had to go through um, a, a river in the middle of November, in, in the middle of December. Right, okay, so the prizes for... October, which is last month, which we're drawing now. Um, the Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra is up for grabs again. Um, we've got the Morton Nutrition Gift Box as well. Um, and we've got um, Active Root, right? Um, I have sent them every single month, I've sent them the prize winner. They said they wanted to do a prize worth £50 until the end of the year, but I think they've had a staff change, and I'm not sure whether there was. I've, I've sent them several emails now so if you haven't received uh, if you haven't received any of your prizes from me then do let me know via um, Patreon on the messages um, but uh, 
uh, somebody hasn't received their active root prize so I am chasing that up at the moment Paul um, be is being very patient on that um, so yeah they haven't quite got back to me yet so I'm going to have to ring them tomorrow if that's still the case um, so yeah I'm not sure if they're still doing it so we're not going to have that this month but that's okay because we've got a amazing jacket from Showers Pass which is called the Cloudburst jacket and it um it is worth a massive £175 so there's a men's and there's a women's so they have grey and orange in both the sexes so we've got um orange or grey and the women's on the top just there and then we've got grey at the bottom oh, I still haven't got the hang of this have I um so right, let's do the prize draw and see who's going to win these amazing prizes. Okay, so, bing, okay, so, okay, oh, I don't, oh, he's not here, oh, he's usually here, this is really, this is really amazing. So, um, this person has been wanting to win the Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra probably for about two years now. <laughs> And finally, he's actually won it. I can't believe this. Kurt Steege has won the Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra. He's over in the USA. Um, I, uh, I, I don't, I can't quite remember where it is. It begins with an N where he lives. Um, answers on a postcard, everybody, as to where Kurt lives. Um, I've forgotten. <laughs> um, so uh, congratulations, Kurt, you have won. And as per usual, let's not tell the winners that they've won. Just say congratulations to the winners so that they have to watch this whole thing to find out if they've won. Right, so Kurt will be super pleased. I will imagine when he watches this back, he'll be jumping up and down. Um, so that will be amazing for him to win that he head torch. So congratulations, Kurt. Now on to the Morton Nutrition. This is amazing nutrition. It's used by um, Killian Jornet, uh, Elliot Kipchoge, all the top runners are using it. So let's press the thing. Oh, can you hear a boop? Oh, it usually goes boop. Anyway, it's not going boop today, but there we go. There we go. It's going right. It's going to be Neil Swift. So Neil Swift has won the Morton Nutrition. Congratulations to you, Neil. That will be winging its way to you ever so shortly. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. Congratulations and thank you very much for being a patron. Okay, final one is the Showers Pass Cloud Burst Jacket. It's worth £175. It's a big deal. So let's let's go for that then okay it's rolling okay we've got martin c c ward or seward or c ward has won the showers pass cloud burst jacket worth 175 pounds it's a waterproof jacket it's designed to keep you toasty warm um and still be breathable whilst you run this winter so that will be a welcome addition to your wardrobe this winter i should imagine martin so congratulations um well done to you for winning and um if you would like to be in with a chance to win one of these amazing prizes next month well this month I'll draw it at the end of November um, you have to be a patron that's all you need to do so sign up to become a patron it's patreon.com slash wild ginger running I think I have a thing here um, which says uh, about patron uh, let's make it bigger mm -mm -mm. that's a training camp patron here we go it's there so there we go, patreon.com slash running. All you need to do is sign up to be a patron. Um, it's only five pounds minimum uh, per month. And for that, you get loads of perks. So there's an area on the website where there's loads of discounts and things that are solely for patrons. There's some exclusive films that I've put up there, which are only for patrons as well, like longer edits of things and um, kind of early bird things as well. Um, and you get access to the unique um, and exclusive patron Facebook group where we will have a jolly laugh about things and the Strava club as well and um, we get to do meetups as well and I have a question from Mick Seuville about meetups so we'll be talking about that later as well. Okay right let's get on with the next competition for November which is now November now oh my goodness time is flying. Okay so November we've still got the Silver Cross Trail 6 Ultra worth £160, so we'll keep that up there, take those away. We've still got the Morton Nutrition, 
top quality nutrition from Morton there and a massive goodie bag with a water bottle and everything. Do you know, I, I love my water bottle from Morton. I use it all the time. It's my favourite one. Um, I've got this one from High Five here at the moment, but it's just, it's, it's not as nice mouthfeel here on this. It's just... Yeah, it's just not as nice. The Morton one is it's black and it's smooth and it's really, really good to drink from. So those are my bottles of preference at the moment. Um, so those will be coming to you in a gift pack from them and that's worth £50. And then we've got a couple of packages from Ultimate Performance. So um, I have already loaded up all these. So I did this earlier and they all look really good. So let's start with the one on this side. So we've got Bright Ideas for Winter. So we've got um, some gloves. They're called the runner's gloves and they're really reflective. We've got a race vest there from Ultimate Performance. We've got a little, one of them little flashing light things as well. We've got a head torch um, and we've got a hat as well. Really nice. Um, it's, it's like it, the hat and the gloves are like, they're reflective, but they're not Lumo. So you're not going to look out of place if you want to go for a drink after you run or something like that. So those are really, that's an amazing gift set. And that's worth £78 in total retail price from them. So that is really cool. You could bag yourself that for winter. Then on the next um, little package from them, we've got an Ultimate Runners SOS package from Ultimate Performance. So we've got this heat rub, which you... Um, put on your legs after running uh, to ease the uh, <laughs> lactic acid build up then we've got some insoles as well we've got an insoles review actually coming from tim who's done some work for me during my maternity leave um tim piggott physio he's been reviewing these as part of his um insole review so that will be coming up over the next couple of months we've got a knee support as well um so if you do too much running over christmas you've got that covered um we've got blister plasters as well there's a whole array of blister plasters there we've got some um K tape as well, kinesiology tape, um, and that is the package. That's the whole package. That's the SOS package. So from Ultimate Performance, we've got all these goodies there. Look at these. Aren't they so cool? I'm just going to do a bit of a <laughs> there for those um, so if you want to be in with the chance to win these um, then all you have to do is sign up to Wild Ginger Running on Patreon so that just um, yeah if you find this channel useful in any way and you want to support me and the channel and people going trail running and spread the word basically then just support me on Patreon um, for the price of a cup of coffee every month maybe two coffees depends where you get your coffee and how big it is Cool. So, um, yeah, those are the prizes for November, everybody. So get supporting me on Patreon and you will have a chance to win them. So let's get rid of all of that. And then we'll answer some questions and do a bit of updates. So I'm going to tell you about some races that I've booked and I want you to all comment as well. Like if you've got any questions then just um, type them into the comments box there, um, ask me any training questions, nutrition questions, gear questions, I'm all ears tonight. I am here for the next um, 20 or 30 minutes to answer any questions that come. Um, and if you've got any ideas for films as well then I do have a massive long list of films so don't worry if you haven't got any ideas um, or if you want to tell me which film has been your favourite over the last sort of, I don't know, like the last kind of 12 months or whether there's a film that you really like that's like years and years ago that you think, oh Claire, you should really do some more like that, then just let me know. Let me know at any time, but especially tonight because I'm coming back and I'm like full of beans, like full of, come on, let's do it now, let's let's get going. So I'm going to tell you about a few more things in the pipeline and um, about some races coming up for me. First, I'm going to read out some stuff. Um, Oh, there's two more people that have made comments. So yeah, do do some more commenting and I'll read some stuff out. Um, Ian Buckley is here. He says, hey, it's the first time he's actually caught one of these live. Oh, hello to you, Ian. It's lovely to see you. Um, he's going to be happy to hear about the jogging strollers as he's got a second child arriving in two weeks time. <gasps> Good luck for that, Ian. And um, more to the point, good luck to your partner who is presumably giving birth to this child and um, yeah so the running buggy is super useful and um, yeah I can I can tell you more about those. Um, I'm getting another one in, I've got the Cybex AB AV at the moment which is this pink one um, here um, and 
then I am getting one in from a company called Mountain Buggy. They're based in New Zealand and they do a buggy called the Terrain. Um, that's their top um, their, their top end running buggy. So I'll be able to compare the two because I've only used the Cybex AV, AV before. Julia um, from Tracks and Trails, she's got the other two running buggies um, that she's she's been testing those. So I'll, we'll do a swap and then I'll be able to have a more rounded opinion on all of them. But yeah, for the most part, it's a really good buggy and it's a lot easier to run with because you can use it with one hand. That's the main thing because it's got the three wheels. But it's absolutely not good at all for taking around the shops so um if you want a buggy to take around the shops it's not really like a versatile do everything buggy it's just a running buggy but it's really light it's a really big wheel so it's really good on um really difficult terrain um so yes another comment is coming in from george s he says hi and welcome back thank you very much george it's good to be back great to hear from you okay so it's about I haven't done any races for ages because of COVID and because of being pregnant and then because of maternity leave as well. And now I just feel like I'm finally getting back in the game to running and racing. So I've booked the Rutland Water Night Run, um, which is, um, if anybody's local, it's Rutland Water. So if anyone fancies it, it'd be great to meet up. It's going to be uh, next Friday, so it's Friday the 12th of November, um, the last start, I think there's some places left on the Friday, the last start is at 6pm. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing about Finley because usually I give him his last feed at like half six. So maybe I could just do it at half five and then Steve can, I can maybe express some milk and put it in a bottle and Steve can give him a last feed at half six just to top him up. But um, yeah, so I'll be doing that next Friday and I'm super excited because I'm going to be wearing this really great kit from this company called Proviz you might have heard of before I um, heard of them a while ago because I got a, you know one of those fully silver jackets that they do I got one of them on trail running magazine a few years ago um, but I've just teamed up with them to do a video called um, top five night running tips so I'm going to be going to the Rutland Water night run wearing all of this kit so I'm really excited about this because you know like some high-vis kit that you get is just like really lumo and it just makes you look like a lumo loon um my running club they don't let you run with them unless you've got high like massive high-vis kit on so they've sent me this which looks awesome doesn't it the sides like you can see here that the lights are picking up on it already they've got reflective stuff on the sleeves so I'm really looking forward to, to wearing that. The men's one's not quite as groovy. I'm sorry, folks, uh, fellas. Um, it's basically the same, but it's just got like stripes across here, which are Lumo. So that it's kind of understated for the blokes, but this is really cool because the arms are um, reflective. So it's like your arms are the thing that does the moving and the movement is what catches people's eyes to be safe um, and be seen. Um, oh, I think I'll do a little bit of chatting about head torches as well because I um, did get a question about that on Patreon too. So um, the other cool things that Provis do is they do one of these reflective vests. So this is like hugely reflective. So I can't wait to wear this. This is really cool because you can just throw it on over anything. So like your back, you can throw it on over your backpack as well and be really reflective. So I think I will team this up with this long sleeve top. And then they actually do, I didn't know that they did these, a fully reflective backpack as well. And you know I'm like the queen of backpacks. So this is um, a running backpack from Proviz and it's, as you can see, got loads of reflective bits and bobs and it's super high vis in yellow as well for the, like dusk. It's only 50 quid, so it's fair dues, it's okay. Um, but I'm gonna actually send them some feedback on it because, um, uh, like they could just make a few improvements to it to make it more versatile like it's only one size to start with so this is um this is just the size that it goes so I could do with it being a little bit smaller really and so could a lot of ladies and smaller men I think um but I'll be using that um on my night run as well um and I'll be teaming this up with this cool jacket Oh, it's so, so amazing. I think I should start doing like a monthly gear thing where I test out new gear and tell you all about it. So let me know if you think that's a good idea in the comments below. Um, but this is one of their jackets. And again, like, look, if I just, if I just turn the light off a sec, I don't know if, 
yeah, so if I turn the light off, that's normal. Okay, so it looks like this normally. So it's just a black jacket. And again, with the top, it's just, oh, it's picking up a little bit. It's just sort of like a gray fleck to the top. So this is just a normal jacket. And then you turn the light on. So if a car is coming past, it looks like this, which is like, ah, it's like a, a squid or something. It's awesome. So yeah, I can't wait to wear that. I'm gonna team it up with this, which will look less cool, but I think that will be really a really good look. Oh, and uh, these, I've got this hat as well. Love a hat. Look how reflective this hat is. Ah, I look like I'm from space or something, don't I? <laughs> there we go. So the Reflect 360 range is what I'm currently wearing. They also do head torches as well. And those flashing elast um, armband things as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of them, and I'm gonna be like a Christmas tree at this night run. I'm gonna be like the most reflective person there. I can guarantee you. And I chose these gloves because I love a glove with a mitt. So personally, because I use my phone a lot when I'm running, I would chop the tops off all of these fingery bits here. And then if I were to get cold, I'd just put the mitt over the top. So I might actually doctor that before the night run because if it's really cold, then how am I gonna use my phone um, to do some filming? Maybe I'll just have to use my GoPro for the whole time. But yeah, so they've got a little pouch that it goes in. If you don't want to, it doesn't just flap around. You put it into this little pouch here. So there, like that. And it's still got a strip across. And then you just pull it out when you need it and hello. Yeah, so how cool is that? So I've got loads of kit from them. So thanks Provis. I've, I'm gonna be doing a film with them. They've sponsored it. So I will have to talk about their kit in the film. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. I really like it. This is a, a windproof jacket. It's not waterproof, but they do do waterproofs as well. And they do, they do loads of everything from like real Lumo stuff to stuff that doesn't look Lumo and then looks only looks Lumo, Lumo when you, um, when you um, flash car headlights on it and stuff. So that will be my top five uh, ways to stay safe in the winter with Provis coming up soon. Um, cool, got some more comments. Um, oh, Phil Be Benyet. Benyet or Begnet? He says, lovely to see you back, Claire. I always do your core workout for runners. Oh, cool. I'm really glad that you enjoy it, Phil. Um, I should do my core workout for runners <laughs> also. <laughs> um, and he says it's awesome kit by Proviz. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? It's really, um, uh, really, uh, really good quality, I think. I think it's going to last for a long time, which I think is a good thing about kit because we don't really, really buy more than necessary, do we? Because we don't want to waste the Earth's precious resources. Okay. Um, we have got, oh, Nadia's advising me only to cut the index finger of the glove. Oh yeah, that's a good point. But then it won't be grippy to hold the camera. I'll have a trial run with just the index finger and then I'll cut, maybe cut it off for the night run. I'll have a trial run. Thanks for that though. So Martin Hutchins, Hutchison says, maybe off topic Claire, but what is your favorite pit ill song? Oh, I think there's a typo there. What does that mean? He likes the high-vis vest as well. What is my favourite Pit Hill song? Does that mean song to run to, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe you can get back to us on that, Martin. It would be good to hear from you again. Um, if it's my favourite song to run to, I don't know. It depends what mood I'm in. I do have some bone phones. I call them bone phones. These, um, I use these. They're the Aeropex Aftershocks. Aftershocks Aeropex, sorry. Um, they're quite expensive, but they also, you can wear them in the shower. And I think I've heard that you can use them in the swimming pool, but don't quote me on that. It's just what someone said. Um, basically, they go, let me show you. They don't go in your ears so you can hear everything on the trail. Because I was testing some other ones. You know those earbuds that just stick in your ears? Well, they really don't work for me because, like, first of all, they just fall out. And secondly... Um, I had like several people come up to me and, and frighten the life out of me because I couldn't hear them coming from behind. Whereas with these, you very much can because they loop over your ears and they, they just sit there. So they don't, they don't go in your ear at all. So you can still hear ambient noise, but you get um, your podcast, your music, whatever. The only downside I find is they don't go quite loud enough for me. I am a little bit deaf. Um, so yeah, so uh, 
but I think a lot of people might be a little bit deaf, um, especially those who are maybe a little bit older, like, <laughs> don't want to generalise, but um, that can happen to you as you get older, I'm certainly finding that. Um, so that's one of the annoying things, is doesn't quite go loud enough for me. Um, if you put, if you block your ears like that, you can hear it a bit louder, but you know, like if you're running at night and cars are swishing by, then that, that can be too loud. And also if you are, um, if you're, um, if the wind is really high as well, that can make you not be able to hear a podcast or, um, music's better because it's kind of on in the background, but if people are speaking or if it's a podcast, then it's really difficult to listen to the words. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I would say about those. You can put earplugs in for those moments, but kind of defeats the object. It's so funny though, because um, <laughs> sometimes I, like, I'd hear a train and I wouldn't be sure whether it was in real life or in the earphone. So that's another thing just to consider with these surround sound ones. Um, but yeah, they, um, they're really, really good. So I really like those. Um, so what else was I going to talk about? Some updates. Let's take these off. Look like a loom. Um, some updates. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, I've told you about the night run. Um, I'll do a little bit on head torches as well. So I've got the buried under here. Um, I do need to say that Alan Pearson is going to be sent a buff. Um, because he has reached his three months of loyalty on the £10 tier of patron so if you support me on patron to certain levels um you get a free buff after a certain time so these are some buffs that i got made with arm and buff so they've got wild ginger running logo and arm and buff on they're really really nice i use one every single night as an eye shield because it's a bit light with the baby monitor light on um, but if you don't want to support me on patron you can just buy a buff from my shop which um, I've got a few left of these, and then I'll be doing a different colour. So suggestions for the colour would be great. I don't, I've obviously done blue to death. I was thinking of hot pink, um, so maybe that would be an option for next time. Orange, I don't know if many people would go for an orange, so let me know on the colours. Um, the shop is, oh, where's the shop? It is here. And at the shop, you can also see about my training camp, which you can find out more information about here. So the next training camp will be on uh, in April at some point. So it's uh, three days in the Peak District. We do four amazing runs. We do night running. We do running with poles. We do um, looking at various different backpacks. We do um, uh, everything's... Um, included food drink if you're a patron you get to sit next to me at dinner woohoo um, and you get an extra special goodie bag if you're a patron you get a goodie bag anyway but you get extra special goodie bag if you are a um, patron so if you are looking for something fun to do to improve your trail running and learn um, loads of like uphill running technique downhill running technique running with poles technique running in the dark technique strength and conditioning what else do we do stretching um, nutrition there's a talk on nutrition by a top nutritionist as well um, and there's usually some kind of film in the evening from me as well they're really really action-packed um, and that is I'm usually there for a whole day of it um, and then we've got Dave Taylor who is our coach he runs Fell Running Guide in the Peak District he's super good and next week there'll be um, a a series of packs reviewed by him so he's reviewed a load of running packs for me whilst I've been away and I'll be putting one of those out every day next week I think let me just check the diary Ye ah oh I don't know if it's next week maybe next week will be Ketten oh I don't, I'll change it I'll change it because I think something else has to come out that week yeah so there'll be some reviews from Dave coming out in the near future I'll keep you posted <laughs> subscribe and then you won't miss a thing so if you can come to the wild ginger running training camp this April in the Peak District it will be awesome to see you there I wonder if I've just got a picture oh yes this is what we do on the training camps we have fun <laughs> there we go um so oh the other thing you could do in the wild ginger running shop is buy the book so i wrote a book um and the thing is the book came out just as finley came out as well so i haven't really promoted it at all i feel a bit bad on bloomsbury publishing for not promoting it but it sold really well so that's really cool so if you fancy getting my book um it's just here 
Yes, I did it right. The Ultimate Trial Running Handbook, and it just, there's training plans in there, there's nutrition advice, there's recipes, loads and loads and loads of stuff. Um, and um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's really handy. I think it's a really handy book, and I really like the way that they've designed it as well. Um, they've put lots of different, there's lots of diverse range of people in the photos as well. I, that I found that was really important to me as well. There's lots of different colours of people, different shapes and sizes of people, different ages of people, different genders of people, all in the book. So everybody is represented. So uh, yeah, so the book can also be found at the shop and that's on my blog, which is www.wildgingerreading.co.uk slash shop. Okay, so that's the sales pitch over. Have to do that every time. Sorry if it gets dull. Um, will I be doing the podcast again? Oh, that is a good question. I'm gonna leave that up and I'm gonna leave Patreon up there as well. Where's Patreon gone? Patreon, where are you? I think you're at the top. There we are. Okay, I'll leave that up here, just in case anybody wanted to support me on Patreon, because I am going to be doing films again now. Um, oh, Phil says, will you be doing the podcasts again, Claire? That is a very good question. So the podcasts were usually, um, they were usually the people that came on to do the live broadcasts on a Wednesday. And we do have at least one live broadcast on a Wednesday night lined up for December. And that's going to be Robbie Britton because he's brought out a new book um, called Fast Running. So I'll be interviewing him about his new book. Um, uh, it's all about it's all about tips for making you a faster and better runner. So he's a coach. He lives out in a Oh, does he live in Chamonix? I don't think he lives in Chamonix. I think he lives in Italy now. But anyway, he is a fantastic coach and I will be interviewing him and getting a few of those 100 top tips um, on the 8th of December, I think it is. Let me just check in the diary. We have so many plans, guys. So many plans. Yeah, Wednesday the 8th, Robbie is booked for 7.30pm live. I might change that to 7. That might be a little bit better. These days I tend to go to bed at 9 because Finley wakes up at like... 5.30 in the morning, every morning, trying to shift it to 6 in the morning, but anyway, um, so yes, I will make a podcast of that, and then maybe I should just make podcasts of all of my films, um, I'll see how it goes, I will, this, this next couple of months I'm just going to see how it goes, Finley hopefully will be doing a whole day at nursery by the time he turns one on the 19th of January. So after then, like for the new trail running season, like kind of March time, I'll be able to do more. Um, but at the moment, I'm just doing one film a week and um, there'll be definitely one live broadcast on a Wednesday as part of that. Um, and this is the first one. I don't think I'll be podcasting it though, because oh, maybe I should, maybe I should just po podcast it. I've got some time tomorrow to visit nursery. I'm going to write that on my list. Podcast podcast the live okay cool right we've got 10 minutes left are there any uh questions let me have a look at the comments um oh there's some buff suggestions oh that's good um chris williams is here he says hi to everybody john's here hello john john is the original patron um he was the first person to ever patronize me so thank you very much john um I think you were, did you get your socks okay, John? John won the competition last month. Um, let me know if you got your socks okay, John. They said they might take six to eight weeks to get to you there in America. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I have posted them to you. Um, Arlene has a suggestion for the buff. She says Violet. Oh, Violet, very interesting. Um, and Ian says a hot pink would get his vote. Yeah, you know, like this, this hot pink here, that kind of hot pink, that's what I was thinking. I was like, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I think all the blokes could rock a hot pink. Um, oh, Leon is here. Hello, Leon, how are you? And uh, yep, John says, bright colors help keep the, the hunters focus on the deer. Ah, oh, okay, well, we don't have a lot of deer hunting over here, but in America, that um, sounds like a, an interesting idea. Um, Conleth says it's a great book with some nice training plans. Oh yes, I forgot to mention this training plan in there. Um, and <laughs> it's got a coffee stain now. Um, fantastic. Uh, Nadia says, can you do a film on how to crew someone? 
Do you know what? I did a film on how to crew people. How to be a good support team is one of the ones that I filmed at the National Running Show two years ago now. And um, it's lots of advice from lots of different people, including John Kelly, Anna McNuff. Um, there was uh, um, Camille Heron in there as well. There was Anna from the Running Channel as well. She gave some advice. So yeah, there was tons of people in that film. So uh, if you Google um, crew or support, um, support team or crew team while ginger running, that film should come up. So yeah, that should work. So I hope that answers your question there for you, Nadia. That's a really good suggestion. Um, John is here as well. Hey, John. Um, I've totally noticed John. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't run at lunchtime and didn't come right for seven, seven o'clock. Um, okay, so, oh, brilliant. John says the socks would rise. That's brilliant. Oh, he's gonna put a review on Amazon. Oh, that's very nice of you. Uh, thank you, John. That's congratul uh, that's congratulations for winning and thank you very much for doing the review. And Dan Runs is here as well. Yay, hello, everybody. Cool. Um, I hope that everyone hasn't just started joining because originally I did say half not half seven, but I changed it to seven. Okay, so Mick Suville says, what are the large ginger running plans for the meeting? up next year so we do have the training camp that would be a good meetup but obviously it's rather expensive um because it is a full-on um a full-on everything like teaching you everything training camp so there is that in april but i'm planning to be at the national running show in january i believe it's like the round 22nd or 26th or 25th or something like that. So if you can make it to Birmingham for the National Running Show, we will have a Wild Ginger Running meetup there as well. And then when we're there, we should probably discuss when we should have the next Wild Ginger Running meetup because we should probably have one in the spring or I think, do you know what we should do? We should all book the same race. So we did the Lake District one time and that was really successful, but I reckon we should go to Wales because there's quite a good Wild Ginger Running pace patron contingent in Wales so maybe we could go to like the Brecon Beacons or Snowdonia or something like that maybe Brecon Beacons because then more people from like the like the southwest there's quite a few people in Cornwall I know um that are patrons so yes yeah, suggestions in the comments below let me know um yeah that would be a really cool to meet everybody so yeah send me all your suggestions about meeting but I will be at the national running show as well Still got to talk about head torches before we go as well. Um, we'll just do like 10 minutes more. Let's see if there's any more questions and suggestions. Great suggestion here from Arlene about how to be a race director or organise a race. Oh, basically, I organise a race. Oh, we can meet up at my race. Let's do that. It's the 11th of June, 2022. It's my dad's birthday. Sorry, dad, he's gonna help with the marshalling, but you could all run the race and shout happy birthday, Dave, to him. So yeah, come to my race, that can be a meetup. Yes, okay, it's in Fotheringhay, which is near Peterborough, and um, it's 10 miles or 20 miles, and it's called the Neem Valley Races. Um, so if you Google Neem Valley Races, their website will come up. So that will be the meetup for the summer. So then we probably should just choose something for like, I don't know, uh, end of August or something like that. Um, for maybe we could all choose, suggest some races in Wales for me, because let's, let's go to Wales next for our meetup. I just, I'm feeling Wales. Um, and it'd be great if somebody, um, if everyone from the United States would fly over and do that, that would be cool. Um, right, uh, John Airy said he did his run at lunchtime, it's on Strava. Um, it was more trail and road. Fab. Oh, you just forgot. How could you forget, John? Oh, um, uh, John thinks that's a good idea. Beacons is a good idea. Oh, okay. So um, John wants a show on experience pushing or pulling a uh, pram with Finley. Um, and uh, he's thought about doing that as a race volunteer. What, pushing somebody else's baby in a pram? That would be cool, wouldn't it? If you could go to Parkrun and then say, hey, fastest person at Parkrun, would you just push my pram for me? I'm thinking about taking Finley to Parkrun um, on uh, this Saturday. That was just, a, just depends if he gets up at half five in the morning. <laughs> Right, so I just want to tell you about head torches a little bit because um, I'm cu currently I want to tell you about my two favourite head torches. So we've got the two leading brands in the UK basically are Petzl and Silver. Um, 
I know there are other to head torches, but these are the brands I'm most familiar with. Um, I've used them tons. They're really good, high quality. You don't want to scrimp on a head torch. You don't want it exploding when you're charging it, as has happened and started a fire at Glenmore Lodge one time. Some cheap import from, from somewhere else that wasn't these guys. Um, so what I like about these is that they're both really light, um, but there's some fundamental differences. Um, as you can see, the silver head torch has a battery pack on the back. Um, the Petzl does not. The Petzl has this great loop, which is really handy if you are a ponytail wearer, because that just fits uh, around your ponytail, um, the split there. That's handy. So the Petzl, is, this weighs like a 90 or 100 grams or something like that, but it's, it's just all on the forehead. It kind of, it is a teeny bit heavy. It's obviously heavier than just having this bit on your forehead, but no battery in the backpack. So, so that's one of my favourites for that reason. It's just so simple, just put it on and go. Pets will also do this reactive lighting thing, where so where um, when you put it on, if you're on reactive lighting, if you cover that, it will make it brighter. Did you see there? It went brighter. And then it senses what light's available and it adapts your head torch um, to, um, to give you more light or less light. So if I turn the light off now, it'll give me more light and then it gives you more. So I'm covering the sensor there, so as if it's gone shaded and it's brightening the light. So then if I turn the light back on, it should reduce down. So that's really intelligent and that saves you battery life. I don't I don't always want that to happen because I want to be in control of the light of my head torch. So you can turn that off though, that's the beauty of this head torch. You can either have it on reactive lighting or not. The other slight Downside for me with the Petzl head torches is if you scroll through the settings, um, it turns off. So you'll go, it'll start, is that bright? It starts low, brighter, brightest, then it turns off. So if you're on the brightest and you just want to go low, you go to nothing. And that's kind of annoying because you if you're in the dark, you don't really want no light at all. Whereas with the silver, if you scroll through, it starts brightest. I'd prefer it to start not brightest, to be honest, because sometimes you put it on and it's dusk and you know a little bit of light. Um, and then it goes lower, then it goes lower, then it goes back to brightest and it flashes to tell you it's circled round. So that is quite handy because you're never left without light. And that's, you hold it down to turn it off. Um, and then it's got this, do you see that green? It's kind of gone green. That means the battery's fully charged. This is is handy because it's they're both quite similar in batteries actually. Um, how do you undo this one? Um, I think I think this undoes. I don't know. That's got a green light there that shows you how much charge is left. Um, I thought that you could undo this one. I thought it had a, a core charger. Maybe not. Okay, so what I thought happened to this petzl head torch was I thought that the back came off and that you could put either the core battery in or some double A's, but I I don't know, I can't open it just now. So I think maybe you only can charge it using this, um, that's a generic, uh, one of those chargers that you always get with everything charger. Um, this one uh, is potentially a little bit more versatile unless I've got this one wrong. Um, you've got this new silver um, battery in here and you can actually take that, you can charge that uh, through there, it's the same same charging as the Petzl that I just showed you. You can take this battery out and you can actually swap that in for um, three triple A's. So if you just take that out, it's easier than I just showed, but you can put three triple A's in there like that. So that's really, really versatile, um, which is excellent. And then, oh, I've put it the wrong way around. And then you can tell whether, um, you can tell whether it's fully charged or not. You can put the safety light on there, so you can have it on flashing or not flashing. I think it would ha be handy to have that button here so that you didn't have to open it to do that. Um, but, you know, it's a work in progress. Only downside with this silver head torch is this front bit here. Um, they've got a bit of padding here on this side but not on that side. So when you wear it for a, a, a long period of time, like like this, without a buff on, then you, you sort of get a mark on your head um, and it's not quite as comfy. Whereas this, 
is just padding. So it just goes on your head like that and it's just really nice and padded. So that's the difference between my two favourite head torches. So that's just a little little bit of uh, food for thought there. I'm not sure what the prices are. I can't remember the prices. Um, but both of these are really good. Um, I can't remember the lumens either, but they're all fine for trail running. I wouldn't be talking about them if they weren't. Um, I think this one's like 350, 400, probably. This one might be 400, 400-ish. They're kind of similar, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure I should have. I forgot about that, the actual brightness of the head torch, but they're both fully bright enough for trail running in the dark. So obviously if you're navigating, you're probably gonna want some kind of thousand lumen jobby. Um, but yes. Right, there's uh, lots of chat going on. If there's anything you want me to read out, then let me know. Ah, um, oh, John's got back to me about the pushing of the pram. Um, they have runners, uh, they do disabled people running. That's really cool. Um, so you can push disabled people on as well. That's really cool. Um, one of my friends also runs with a, a blind or visually impaired person sometimes. Um, so they uh, have like a, a small tether between them and things and they're really brave, these visually impaired people because they go so fast and they can't see. So that's like big up to them. Um, Stuart Passmore says, it's been too long, go live more, lol. <laughs> thank you, Stuart, it's great to see you and thank you for the compliment there. Um, and John says he has three wee grandchildren that want to go on a, on a run with grandpa. Oh, that's really cute. Cool, okay, well, if there's no more questions, I'm gonna go and have a curry with my family. Um, my mum and dad are here at the moment because um, my, my dad and Steve and a bit of me um, are ripping out the downstairs bathroom and making one with a shower that actually works. Um, so for about probably three or four years we've been without a shower in that bathroom. Um, we have a shower upstairs, it's totally fine, but when people come stay it's handy to just have two. So they're putting in a new shower, they're knocking a wall down and there's dust everywhere and um, my mum took Finley out today so that we could all work on that together um, and I also did some work on the Provis film. From Nick Wax coming up so I'm going to be showing you how to waterproof your stuff for winter and then uh, in March kind of time we're going to talk about how to sweat proof your stuff as well so if you're a very sweaty runner then stay tuned till March. Okay right I think I'm going to go now. Um, I am getting back in the game of training. Oh, Gadsby Gallop, last thing. That's the other race that I really want to do this um, this winter. Um, it's a, uh, oh, how long is it? It's um, it's like um, a few miles, 10K, something like that. And I think Mahul took this great picture of me last time. I think it's one of his. I don't think it's mine. I don't think I could have taken this. But this is what we had to do. This is the middle of... December. This is the last weekend in December and it's it's freezing <laughs> but it's so so invigorating. So if anybody wants to join me I will be there at the Gadsby Gallop. Um, it's two G's G-A-D-D-E-S-B-Y Gallop. I don't think they've opened the entries yet but it'd be amazing to see some of you there. If you want to suggest some races for me to do in 2022 then that would be fantastic. Um, so, um, yeah, it'd be great to see some more of you. So, um, so yes, yeah, sign up to me on Patreon. Let's get, um, meeting up as well. Um, let's, uh, what else should we do? Yeah, keep running, tell me what races to do, tell me what colour you want the buff to be next, next buff. And, uh, watch out for my Provis films. Watch out for all the review films from some people who have been covering me in my maternity leave. There's some reviews, um, from Vicky, there's Tim, and there's, uh, Dave Taylor as well. So all those reviews will be coming out shortly. And the Provis thing will be coming out about night running and, um, Nick Cracks as well. So really excited to get back in the game. Thank you so much for everybody who's continued to support me through the three months that I've taken off the maternity leave. It was very much needed. Um, but now I'm really thrilled to be getting back in the game. So thanks for the continued support. Um, and if you're not already, so start from the beginning and you'll see the competition draw and see who's won something this week. Um, cool. I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will see you soon live. Um, and yeah, thank you for your support, everybody. It's been lovely. Bye.